Hey everybody, this is Justin with SoftwareMedia.com and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial and run through of Camtasia Studio and show you how easy it is to use this program to record your own computer screen and your projects and whatnot to uh, show off to the world. So, to begin, as you can see down here at the bottom right corner, we have the Camtasia uh, recording toolbar. Uh, it shows you the duration, the audio levels, um, various things. You can pause in the middle, you can automatically delete what you're recording, uh, you can stop, and then before you start recording there's a big red uh, record button right here. It's really easy. Um, one nice thing about Camtasia Studio was how user-friendly it is. Um, everything's very well displayed, it shows you, it's got nice uh, big icons, um, so whether you're you know a professional uh, video editor or you know a first-timer that's never used this program before, it's super easy. Um, you go over any of these things, audio, it'll give you an example of what the audio things do, transitions, whatnot, you know, and it'll just kind of help you out. Uh, so what I've got here uh, to kind of use as an example is a fake project which I've created and basically in Word document I'm showing how to um, add an image and you can see it's how it zooms. Um, basically what I'm just dragging here is the timeline bar and you can kind of go to any point. So uh, here I am zooming in, adding effects to the uh, to the image, showing how to resize the image, um, how to do the text wrap, positioning it, and that is it. So it's a really simple tutorial, but um, this tutorial is not to show you how to use the image, it's to show you how to create what I have created. It's a little confusing, but it's it's not so bad. Um, you'll notice here there's a few different um, um, tracks. We've got our video track, our zoom track, our audio, audio 2. Um, one nice thing with uh, Camtasia is you are recording it automatically, the audio. And it's really smart audio too. It's uh, very clear, and it also records audio that is playing in the background. So if you're listening to music while recording, it might not be the best idea because it's also going to pick up that sound too. If it does do that, have no fear, that's what this audio 2 track is, and you can just select it, delete it, and actually as you are recording, or I should say as you're editing, um, you can do your own audio overlay. Um, so, what we have here under the zoom is the zoom levels, and when you double click is one of the zoom, zoom tags, it brings up this uh, panel over here on the left side and it gives you the options to click and drag um, the screen area so the bigger the screen area obviously the less it is zoomed in um, you can make it really small and it's going to zoom in quite a bit and as you notice it gets a little more pixely as you zoom in um, so you kind of have to toy with that to get it to, to an amount that looks zoomed in but it's not uh, so pixelated for you and then over here, under duration, that shows the length of the zoom. So right now it's at one second. So let's go back down here. We're going to go back a couple seconds and play. It's going to zoom in. So let's go back. Let's do it again. Let's bump it up to two seconds. You see it's a much more gradual zoom. Or speed it up. You can even make it instant if you want. And then it's much faster. So, you know, based on your preferences this is how you'll um, choose what level of zoom, um, the size of the zoom. Um, you can do a tilt if you want to add some effects. Um, the position of the camera and the dimensions. And that's kind of the zoom amount and it's going to give you the actual pixel dimensions. You will almost always want to keep this maintain aspect ratio clicked. That way it will keep the format that you choose, whether it's a widescreen format or a standard format, and uh, so you don't make it look uh, all squished or stretched. And then once you're finished with the edits that you want to make, the last step is producing, as they call it, your video. So what you'll do is you go to File, Produce and Share, and then from there it'll give you their little production wizard, and there's a drop-down, and you can kind of choose 
what format you want to save your project as, whether you want it for a DVD, it shows you the dimensions, the type of format, and it gives you a quick description. Once again, um, Temptation never leaves you in the dark. It kind of explains every step of the way, all the things that you need to know to, to make sure you're choosing the right, uh, right item. So what we're going to do is a web, so we can post it on our website. You click Next. You want to choose your folder where you want it saved. It has its default folder. That's what we'll do. Word Image Tutorial MP4. We'll save that, and then you'll click Finish. And now what it's doing is it's rendering the project, and that takes some time. So let's just go ahead and pause this and wait until what happens afterwards. Alright, so it just finished, and it's giving the production results. Um, it gives you all the details where it was saved to, what you created, the size, the length, um, the dimensions, um, some other more technical terms, um, keyframe rate, video quality, that sort of thing. And then you go to finish. And that's that. Then all you have to do is go to the folder where you saved the item, and then upload it on YouTube or or your own website. That is our tutorial for today on Camtasia Studio. Um, visit us at softwaremedia.com or Software News Daily to find more tutorials and videos like this and find out where you can get your own copy of Camtasia Studio. Thanks for watching.